never use twenty minutes to do a daily graphic. I never. Everybody else watching knows. Okay. Okay. It's just so me. we. Yeah, it's just you. Can we check the time? Okay, so it's six thirty-two. Let's go. We're starting with the daily graphic, and on the front page, exercise to halt Aboboya operations on motorway begins. The story is on page sixteen. So let me get to that because at one point I thought they had actually suspended the exercise. In fact, the Daily Graphic had reported that they had suspended. It was supposed to have started November 1. And then Daily Graphic reported that they had suspended the exercise uh, or postponed it to February 2022. Turns out it has started. So a combined task force from the Tema Metropolitan and Tema West Municipal Assemblies in the Greater Accra Region have begun an exercise to arrest and prosecute operators of motorized tricycles popularly known as Aboboya for flouting regulations restricting them from plying the Accra Tema motorway. So a number of them uh, were arrested and as of 11 a.m. yesterday, eight motorized tricycles had been confiscated. Some of the offending riders were conveying bags of sachet water for delivery to clients in their tricycles, while others were loaded with iron rods heading to building sites. Okay, so yes, they're seen as a nuisance, but they're also saying that they're offering, it, it's a source of employment for several young people. And so if you shut them down like that, it's going to, you're going to throw them out of jobs and they'll end up uh, in other, and, and end up you know, with other vices. Okay, so that's the story on exercise to halt Aboboya operations. So it's actually begun, they're enforcing it. Now, improving revenue performance, expand tax coverage. Dr. Alina Chantel's government at Graphic Stambik Forum says the financial consultant, consultant and senior lecturer at the School of Law, University of Ghana, Dr. Abdullah Alina Chia has called on the government to use the 2022 budget to broaden the tax net to raise more revenue. He said expanding the country's tax net to cover new people would shore up government revenue inflow uh, fund inflow to fund development without necessarily introducing new taxes. So this is something that has been said all the time, that mm. let's expand the tax net so that we don't have the same people who are paying taxes all the time being the ones paying taxes all the time. Because it turns out that a lot of the time, it's, it's mainly the formal workers who are being made to pay the taxes, taxes because yeah. the taxes are deducted at source. But then if we broaden the taxing so that the informal sector, everybody is paying their bits, then the burden is not going to be so much on just a few people mm. who are paying taxes all the time. And then we can also raise more revenue to do other things. And he makes reference, there's also reference to property taxes. Says uh, Dr. Bafo, who was one of the speakers there, he says, the country should go back to property taxes through a simple automation to plug the loopholes while urging the government to ensure value for money by providing basic social amenities such as roads, electricity, water, and others to justify the collection of rates. So that's another angle of the conversation. There are many communities where they don't have roads, they don't have water, they don't have electricity. They essentially don't have the basic amenities. So how do you go to these communities and say you're going to you know get them to pay property to pay tax. yeah. property taxes mm. when really you're not providing or Any the state hasn't amenities. provide yeah, yeah hasn't provided there's actually even a story in the daily guide about um a school in in, um, in a little village somewhere and the parents are being taxed a toilet levy yeah tax toilet levy um for their kids so it's here um Adamansu DA Primary School in the Memphis East District of the Western Region. The parents are quite furious authorities because they're asking them to con contribute 60 Ghana CDs per child for the construction of a toilet facility. Um, so yeah, I mean, when you're having to raise money, um, <laughs> having to raise money for toilets to be constructed in schools. One parent says he has five, five children there, so he's going to pay 300 CDs. Um, you know, when oh, they're wow. already barely making men's, yeah. um, ends meet. So, yeah, basic amenities is an, is an issue. I think also when it comes to tax, we also kind of talk about those who, the foreigners who work in Ghana, and, you know, some of them are able to get really good tax reliefs and, you know, and that kind of thing. And 
Okay. I mean, making, making the country more attractive investment-wise, but sometimes um, at a cost Depriving. to ourselves. Exactly. But that's why the conversation has come up that we should look at the tax exemptions bill. Yeah. So that we know which, who quali actually exactly. qualifies. And, uh, and, and if it works for our benefit. Yeah. You know, if, if, if somebody's bringing in something that we cannot produce here, so we're giving them, you know, tax exemptions, will it be um, even more profitable to actually invest what would have been the tax benefit, the cost of that, into a Ghanaian firm to help them produce that here and pay tax. I mean, these are things that we have yeah. to, to look at. But then again, you know, the Ghanaian, we're our own worst enemy because you set up a company and then, yeah, your employers will ruin it for you. So yeah. employees will ruin it for you. So. All right, we go to the politics page. Police filed two charges against Sosu. Appears in court November 8th. So that was on the front page. That was actually in the AM news, brought to us by Mapitso Sebede. Attempt to arrest Medina MP, offend constitution speaker, that was also in the news. Now, Kepko sues MP for defamation. Kepko's MC sues MP for defamation. The Metropolitan Chief Executive for Cape Coast, Mr. Ernest Arthur, has filed a defamation suit against the National Democratic Congress Member of Parliament for Cape Coast South, Mr. Kuku Hagan. The MC on Tuesday, October 26, filed a defamation suit against the MP following what he described as defamatory comments about him and that Mr. Ricky Hagen after his uh, confirmation as MC. All right. I build United Front for 2024 20, victory. That's in Tim Forjo, an aspiring, well, it's Steven Ayesu in Tim, Steven in Tim, actually, an aspiring national chairman of the New Patriotic Party. Then form partnerships to deepen digital economy, economy. That's Vice President uh, Dr. Baumian. Then we go to the center spread. And Judicial Council sensitized to national security strategy. Okay, so the members of the Judicial Council have been sensitized to the new national security strategy document. Then government initiates program to reduce emissions in cocoa share sectors. This is the outcome of the conference, the climate conference in Glasgow. And then about 34% deaths attributable to non-communicable diseases. That's the Ghana Health Service saying that. Uh, in business, GA, Ghana Employees Association, Ghana Enterprises Agency actually, has started dispersing 13.8 million CDs to 212 applicants under the 145 million CD Ghana Economic Transformation Project Grant. Okay, uh, Ghana among top five in AFSA Financial Market Index report. That's all in business news. Then we go to showbiz. Too blessed to envy Shatawale, that's Black Rasta saying that. So if you're one of the people, who think that radio presenter Black Rasta's recent comments about the law dealing with Shatawali following his publicity stance gone wrong is an indication that he's envious. He has a message for you. He says, I'm too blessed to envy Shatawali. Right? Go to... There's a few more stories and then we're done. FDA launches new licensing scheme for food vendors. And um, Kofroidia Anglican Church supports prisoners. And in sports, Rattray Park boss comments GOC and stars coach to name squad today. Okay. Black Stars coach Milovan uh, Rajevac will name his squad for next week's Qatar 2022 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Ethiopia and South Africa at the conference room of the Ghana Football Association Secretariat in Accra at 12 noon today. Kotoko hosts Bechem United on Sunday. I see. See how that goes down. <laughs> Why? Oh, sigh. Don't let me get started. <laughs> On the back page, JICA supports Ministry of Health with equipment. And the equipment was provided through a project for strengthening community-based health services in the Upper East, Upper West, Upper East, and Northern regions. And then make prostate cancer treatment affordable. That's Dr. Yanni. He's the head of the Medical Center for Radiotherapy and Nuclear Medicine at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. When was the last time you checked your prostate? 
Oh, it was last year. Okay. And I need to be doing that um, this year. A lot more. I, sh I, should, be, I should be taking time yeah. off sometime. <laughs> yeah. You need time off to check your prostate. Yeah, I need to go to, I need really? to do like a thorough medical exam. Yeah, you can do it after work. On the front page of the Ghanaian Times this morning, Koforido at Jubilee Park in ruins, um, Ghana at 50 Monument, new home to lunatics, stray animals, we smokers and miscreants. Hmm. Cabinet approves new wildlife resources management bill. Ghana signs on to leave coalition at the climate change confab in Glasgow. Okay, so um, pretty much um, similar stories as to what's in the Daily Graphic. Police to take Medina MP to court November 8th. Um, driver in trouble, oh God, for dislodging effluence into a door river. Um, okay, I'm not going to tell you about that. It's in the Daily Graphic. Speaker fumes of our warrants to arrest Francis Susu. Um, if you've been following that story, um, then you know that um, the speaker was saying that uh, members of parliament need to be treated in a certain way. Um, you know, they are the lawmakers after all. And so, you know, don't want to see the police kind of harassing them and all of that. Um, but anyway, um, Mr. Sosu will be going to court November 8th. So we'll see how that goes. War crimes possibly committed in Ethiopia. Death toll rises to 22 in Nigeria. Building collapse. Um, now, this is a story. Prank calls frustrates the National Ambulance Service in the Volta region. And that's according to... Um, the Volta Regional Administrative Manager of the National Ambulance Service, Mr. Bright K. Mignon. Um, So he said, in the last quarter of this year alone, we received at least 20 of such calls, and this is in spite of the vigorous public education by the National Ambulance Service against the trend. So what happens is that people, just like for fun, will call the National Ambulance numbers um, and then have the ambulances come out. And it was a prank, like it was a joke. That's so wrong. And it's actually not funny yeah, yeah. because every time you do that, you're potentially depriving somebody who needs it um, from having it. So it's, it's really actually quite a cruel thing to do and not funny at all. Um, let's consider therapy for rapists, not just jail term. So that's that as well. Government to install 10,000 CCTVs by end of year. Um, and if they do that, it <laughs> oh, this is funny. Listen, so the government is to install 10,000 CCTVs by end of year. Yeah. If they do that, it will bring the number of surveillance cameras to 10,800. The reason I think it's funny is that, which means we only have 800. <laughs> 800 now, now yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways. Uh, okay, let's see. Ghana records a thousand stroke cases annually. And we talked about heart disease last week. Um, keeping your heart healthy. GJA Mons, Richard Kweku, Ajay, may your soul rest in peace. Okay, the vice president says government plans to ensure available, affordable internet service to all. Um, cabinet approves new wildlife resource management bill um, 2021. So it's aimed at bringing the new legislation into conformity with the existing policies in the sector and to provide for the implementation of international conventions on wildlife to which Ghana is a signatory. You know, the bit about um, the uh, you know, government to ensure af available, affordable internet to service to all it reminds me, the Vice President, when you spoke at Ashesi the last time, he was talking about how they're making internet available to the schools and all of that. But you recall that the schools some headmasters came together and were like, ah, why are you charging us for? You yeah, said you were giving back. us free internet. And then you come back and say, we have to pay we for have the to internet. Pay for it. Yeah. So. <laughs> you, but there's nothing that is free in this world, though. <laughs> Everything that is free, somehow you pay for. Except, okay. especially when it comes to governments and, and, you know, right. and citizens. In one way or another, one way or another, you get taxed for it. Um, I think what they mean by free is that there'll be no. Upfront Direct, payment. yeah, upfront <laughs> payment, exactly. Thank you, Israel. You read my mind. Judicial Council staff sensitized to NSS. Um, NICU soldiers launches scones for life to support preterm babies. Central Region, Central Regional Police Command honors fallen police officers. May their souls rest 
in peace. Snit to pay over 3.3 billion Ghana CDs in benefits this year. Um, reduction in interest rates to ease access to property acquisition. Um, so some banks are reducing their interest rates, which is good because the interest rates are kids a killer. Killer. Okay, let's do some football. Ethiopia, why we've decided to host Ghana in South Africa. Ronaldo drags United towards last 16 with crucial double. Um, NSA club can't sell tickets on digital platforms now. Hazakas ladies um, going for the CAF Championship League. Karela United, Ghana Gas and the Tick Cleanup. 6.5 million um, school aged children to deworm this month. The Ghana Health Service is going to try and deworm 6.5 million school aged children to, um, this month. So that's, that's good. Okay, um, that's it for the Ghanaian Times. Okay, let's go to the Business and Financial Times. And the main story on the front page is Digital Economy Success Hinges on Collaboration. That's Dr. Baumia saying that. But before I get into the other stories, there's, uh, this, the Vice President saying, was saying this at the, the Sunchat uh, FinTech Summit. Now, if you look at the photo, one of the issues I've been having with the, these photographs that they put out, the people are looking in one direction. And the, the photographer is also, so they're smiling at another cameraman. That's why I keep saying that you call the attention of the people, tell them to look in one camera at a time. The same thing is on the same photo of that same event is on page 20 of the Daily Graphic. And again, the people are looking in another direction. Wow. We should fix this thing. This shouldn't take, um, doesn't take too much to get this done. It doesn't. I say, look here. Yeah. Look here. So look you, you let one cameraman go at a time. So cameraman one, yeah. Take, you know, grab the attention. Cameraman two, it's your turn now. Do you think this same kind of discipline could make Hats of Folk a better team? Hats of Folk is a better team. This kind of focus, team. you know. Hats of Folk is a really good team. Okay, I was just asking, please. I'm sorry. For you, I mean, they are the champions of the Ghana Premier League. Okay. okay? Please, we are sorry. You should be. Also, on the front page, digital economy success hinges on collaboration. Well, that's the story I was talking about. Private sector owes SNIT over 230 million CDs in outstanding debt and focus on efficiency in collection, not new taxes. Let me repeat that. Focus on efficiency in tax collection, not new taxes. Okay. That's ESA saying that Institute of Statistical, Social and Economic research and on page five digitalization is not an answer to widespread economic hardship and mismanagement that's francis xavier susu who is um, wanted by the police apparently but he has an article here in the business he Finance. wrote it um so what, what he did was that he wrote about six of them okay. um, last month. No, I'm month. sure this is in reaction to what the vice president said. Mm. Yeah, okay. it is. So delivering an address at Ashesi University on the topic transforming an economy through digitization, the Ghana story. Vice president of the Republic, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, okay, credited so yeah, the Kofadu government. He wrote government. this week. So he wrote it. And um, okay. So yeah, that, that's it for the business and financial. Oh, you're done. Okay. Daily Guide this morning, um, Francis Xavier Sosu on the front page as well. Um, he's kind of trending, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so, okay. Um, British Airways is doing a sale, just in case you wanted to take me to London. Oh. Sounds good. <laughs> $692. Yeah. All inclusive fares in economy. And then 2,717 business. Please, please, please. We have not reached that site. Oh. Okay. So international stories. Nigeria races to find survivors as 22 dying building collapse. Republican wins in Virginia gov governor race. Colombia landslide kills 11. Then war crimes possibly committed in um, Ethiopia. Man arrested for raping mentally challenged woman. I don't know what's wrong with you. Um, and some ent entertainment, I wish to give Dampari a handshake. That's going to Lil Win. 
stop the illegal sampling of songs and gospel musician in infidelity drama. So apparently this um, gospel musician was there no. He had somebody on the radio saying that she was having an affair um, with him. Interesting. He's been married for four years. Mm. Um, the, the, the story unfolds, so we'll find out um, whether it's true or not true. Okay, FDA launches food vendors licensing scheme. Oh, that's, a, that's an interesting one. I mean, imagine if all our food vendors had to get licensed. So the yam seller, the banku seller, the teaser seller, you know, those by the gutters so, and the roads. So that, would, that would be interesting. I hope that it's an, an easy process, an interactive process, and, you know, something that's a bit fluid because, you know, we can't just go from complete lawlessness to... You know what I mean? And our food is very, very important to us. So please, we don't want any problems. A two for pleasure support for GMB 2021 Queens Prison Project. Bruno K drops higher. We go tomorrow. And why flicks ignites media group. Neuros, okay, I don't, I don't. On the back page, Emery rejects Newcastle. Zavi begins Bassa job after international break. Um, Milo names Black Stars squad today. And there's a picture of um, Didi Ayu on the back page there. I'm sure the question is whether he will be um, called to play for this one. Okay, that's it for the Daily Guide. Okay, I'll do the Daily Statesman quickly. The Scholarship Secretary of Civil Service signed MOU to train workforce. We want curfew at Pram Pram, Chief Petitions President in IGP. Uh, this being, maybe let me just go to that story. And um, so, following last week's alleged gun attack at Pram Pram in the Greater Accra region, which led to the death of the head of Clay Quarters, Nene Aye Utuse Klo II, the area appears to have engulfed in insecurity. All right, so that's why they're asking for the curfew at Pram Pram. Mm. Collaborate more for Ghana's growth. Vive urges stakeholders in finance sector. Cabinet's OK new wildlife resources management bill. That is it for the Daily Statesman. OK, so really quickly, the business find up. Pensions, SNITS doles out 2.7 billion um, Ghana CDs. Ghanaian company transforms waste into profitable, environment-friendly products. New COVID-19 vaccination requirements take effect November 8th for U.S. travelers. So new rules for travels in the United States go into effect for flights departing on Monday, November 8th, 2021. Um, okay, so the Biden administration has allowed for a limited exception for some countries, including Ghana. Under this exception, which will be reviewed every 90 days, unvaccinated travelers may enter with non-tourist visas, um, using their Ghanaian passport, but will be required to have a negative COVID-19 test administered within one day of travel to the United States before boarding. There's no exception, however, for Ghanaian tourists and business travelers. I mean, you must show proof of full vaccination and neg negative COVID-19 test. So if you are planning to go to the US, um, those are some of the things that you need, of course, including a visa. <laughs> Just saying. So the, the people who are curious, okay, so how can I get my vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine? That's a conversation we're having this morning with uh, Dr. Mponsa Chan of the Ghana Health Service. Yeah, okay. Um, GTA launches events for the de December festivities, the Ghana Tourism Authority, and the Beyond the Return. I, we talked about this. The, the Ministry of Tourism is expecting 150,000 um, people to come in for Christmas with so many activities. Of course, so you can expect a lot more traffic. Um, but also COVID-19, because we saw what happened last year. Yeah, yeah. You know how our numbers went up. Um, so if you're planning to chill this Christmas, then you definitely need to be careful um, as well. Okay, that's it for okay, the find Okay, I think we can do the dispatch quickly before we go to my journal online. So the Daily Dispatch. Ghana card will be recognized globally as an e-passport in 197 countries. That's uh, Dr. Bamiya saying that. I really that. need to get my Ghana card done. You should. Yeah. I mean, they went on a break. They've yeah, come sure. back. So. That's true. Yeah. Bamiya highlights five digital innovations by Kufado government. Four prices will remain stable when PSRL takes effect. MPS Mustafa Hamid saying that. Then, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. That's, That's it. it. Okay. Let's go to myjoyonline.com. 
Okay, so you are the one joking, not Susu and I, Daffy Ametmo. Fires back at Sam Okujeto. Oh gosh, okay. Um, answers to Ghana's problems do not lie in digitalization lectures. Sami Jeffy tells Baumia. This picture of Sami Jeffy, I think, is the most used picture <laughs> of Sami Jeffy. In that case, abuse, most abuse. Most abuse. I mean, he's always like, you know, it's even a I meme. Can't think I far. can't think far. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. The most nebulous, yes. And then there's also the meme that says, this is nebulous. <laughs> Good morning, Sami Jeffy. Um, we blocked entrance to China Mall to protect our land. That's according to the West Hills Mall um, squad. Government's complete takeover of Airtel Tigo. Somebody was asking that, does this mean that Airtel Tigo is now the new um, Ghana Telecom? No. Finding the witch hunters. We brought you that yesterday. IGP Dan Pare is being overzealous. James Agalga. Two arrested for parading teenagers naked on the streets of Equipim and also police investigates another alleged kidnapping in Takrade. And Parliament not opposed to police charge on Susu. That's according to Kofi Adams. And that's about it for my joy online <coughs> this morning. Um, but Israel, so do you want to just give us a brief overview of what we can expect? Right, so it's, it's about the COVID-19 vaccines. We're having a conversation with Dr. Mponsa Achiano about where we can get the vaccines, what's the situation how many vaccines are available and can we actually meet the target mm -hmm. of vaccinating 20 million Ghanaians before the end of the year? That's uh, the target that the Ghana Health Service is working with. That's what the president has said. And we've had a number of the vaccines. We've increased our stock in recent weeks. Yeah. So we get to know where people can go. I know the Ghana Health Service is also rolling out the new phase. Mm -hmm. The latest phase requires that, I mean, there are no restrictions now. There used to be restrictions. We're targeting specific groups. But who can go? But not right now, it's been opening. Yeah, yeah. it's been opening up. So where can people go for for those vaccines? That's a conversation we'll be going to be having on uh, the AM show. Okay. We'll also be having bringing you updates on the S NSMQ 2021. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm yeah. Not, no. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's yeah. wrong. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I, I think I want to find out that uh -huh. um, if. I'm not going to ask the same question you asked, but I mean, basically, if any girl's school was going to win the NSMQ, which school do okay. you think it would be? So, and maybe you can open the phone lines and do that and uh, <laughs> shame our enemies. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, okay. okay, so um, amazing show coming up for you, but we're going to go on a break. When we come back, we have some sports. And then, of course, Israel and I will be back to take you through this morning. Don't go anywhere.